Whether it's your business, your finance, your career, your family or your life, it's time for Dollars with Sense, the show where our experts show you how to work smarter, not harder. Dollars with Sense is here to help. I have with me Mario Batoni from MAB5 and we're going to be talking about the state of the residential property market here in Melbourne. Mario, welcome to Dollars with Sense. Dallas, thanks for having me today. Now, what do you do for a living? I'm in the property market. Okay, so you're a, you're a lecturer at Polytechnic, you're teaching people how to invest, you're teaching people how to become real estate agents, you've got half an idea of what's going on. And I'm a strategist in property. How's okay, that? well that's fantastic. Yep. The only reason I bring that up is because it's important that the viewers know yep. that people here on Dollars with Sense have got an idea of what they're talking about. Sure. Now, the residential property market here in Melbourne, Yes. I'm hearing on the, the news week in, week out, month in, month out, year in, year out, how yep. tough it is for the young people coming through yep. and how to uh, buy your first home and how to get into the investment property yep. uh, market. The facts are that houses are going up. They've been going up since, well, I can remember in the early 80s. Yep. The difference was is that in the early 80s, I was on ten or $11,000 as an income and now I, I earn a little bit more than that, Mario. <laughs> so, so does everybody else. Yes. So what are your thoughts about people saving for a home or getting in the investment property market? Dallas, to come back to the start of your conversation and your question, you know, people, in my, people who I associate with, we think it's a comedy show, right? You know, the market's bad, it's booming, it's busting, it's, it's all a lot of crap. Okay, people buy properties all the time. And if you're smart about it, like in the 80s, what did we do? We saved hard, we lived within our means to save our deposit, get our properties. Yes. Okay, that's yeah. what we did. And I don't know about you, but my first car was a 1962 EJ Holden. It wasn't worth much and it, did, it went putt, putt, putt. Oh, I've got you, I've got you. <laughs> A 1958 Austin Lancer, $350. There you go, okay. <laughs> So we worked hard and you know, our wages um, were to save hard for it, you know, uh, lived at home as long as we could, pay the rent, whatever it was. But we lived and we had a goal. Right? The market today is no different. In fact, it's a little bit easier today because yes, property values have gone up and statistics has it that the properties go up double in value seven to 10 years. So if you bought a property in 1990, in the 80s, when eighty, eighty-five thousand dollars today, it'd be worth a couple, mil, couple, couple yes, of mil, depending on where you okay. purchased it. A couple of mil, right? You buy a property today at four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, six hundred thousand, okay? And you might have a five hundred thousand dollar mortgage on that, okay? What will happen in ten years from now? It's still a six hundred thousand dollar or five hundred thousand dollar mortgage, but your property is now worth one point two million dollars. Yes. So you now got equity to put into an investment property. So, so I go and buy the home for $500,000. Yes. In 10 years time, it's worth a million dollars, give do or take. Yep. So I've made $50,000 average in gross, in the pocket, capital, every year. Absolutely. Well, why wouldn't you do it? Well, where can you do that? You can't, you're like, you, you can save, yes. but that's, you're now letting, letting your natural organic growth of the economy make you money. What a lot of people aren't doing today is they're not, uh, they're not learning how to better themselves financially. They say, you know, the younger people, the younger generation of today, they want their avocado sandwiches, they want their fancy cars, they want to go on their holidays, they want to live life before they settle down. I know 40 and 50 year olds are like that. <laughs> but we've lived a little bit. Yes. I was brought up, you know, work hard, really hard, play hard later. Yes. Live, work, get your money now, get your investments yes. done, get you going, and in your later life, start. But later life could be 40s plus. Okay, i got a question for you. Go. I'm 40, 45 years of age. I've yes. still got children at home. I've yes. got a little bit of equity in my home. Yes. How much is it going to cost me to get an investment property for four hundred dollars $500,000? Dallas, it's a fantastic question you ask. And when you look at the research and the analysis, if you've got an income of about $80,000, you've got a bit of equity in your current home, you could you know, virtually borrow, a, you can buy a property about $500,000, yes. maybe six. Yeah. And realistically, when you look at, because the government encourages you to buy investment properties with depreciations and negative gearing and so forth, you might be out of pocket another 50, 60 bucks a week. <laughs> for fit, so for $50 a week, 
ballpark figures. Ballpark figures. I can get a ballpark house for around about five hundred thousand dollars. Yes. So over a ten-year period. Yes. Uh, we're looking at uh, making five hundred thousand dollars. Yes. That fifty dollars a week is. Two thousand six hundred a year. Yes. So if the rent doesn't go up and all those things don't go up, uh, and it's a flat fifty dollars a week, that's twenty six thousand over ten years to pick up five hundred thousand. Thank you very much. Is it as simple as that? Where are the tricks? There's got to be some tricks. There are none. What people? So are, why aren't everybody doing it? Because they want the lifestyle. They want to. They got used to the. It's easy, and I feel comfortable. I want to be warm, right? You can do all of that. However, by building your investment portfolio, one of the things, if you allow me to say this, and I, and I say this to my students that when I, we talk about it, if you're at 20, 25, 30, right, starting off, by the time you retire, if you outright own five properties, and now we're looking at that model, 50 bucks for this one, 50 bucks for that one, and use your equity to purchase, you own five properties outright, you never need the pension. But they want the pension, mate. They Why? Must, they, they must want it, otherwise they'd be investing. But they're, they're mad. <laughs> they'd be absolutely mad because you're decreasing from $6,000 a month to four hundred and eighty. And I don't know what the pension amount is, but no. it's not much. Do you so I, the, it frustrates me when I get parents say, oh, or people say, oh, no, no. You're smart. Teach your kids how to use money. You send them to university, you send them to TAFE, you send them all over the place, but no one teaches them how to spend money properly. A smart parent does, and a smart child will go, hold on, I can still do all of this, but if I spend my money wisely and save it, and property's it. Look, you've got the share market, you've got all these other investments, but I'm a property person, yes? Tangibility, bricks and mortar, right? I can see it, I can feel it, I can touch it. That's what we want. So why do you know that, why do you believe that the uh, property industry in Australia is gonna keep on going up? I'll throw that one out to you. Well, I've been in this industry now, 30 something years. And in my, in my office, I used to have a, a picture of a very old man, right? Crooked old man with a crooked old stick with a long beard dragging along the ground. And the little caption at the bottom said, this is a 21 year old waiting for real estate prices to drop. <laughs> they yeah. never Look, have. In Australia, we've got 25 odd million people here. We believe, uh, depending on who you listen to, yes. one government says it should be 35 million, another one said it should be 50 million. The fact of the matter is we've got good immigration, we've got people being born all the time. Yes. So it's supply and demand. And it's all it is, right? And, and if you look at the Melbourne market, it's yes. been expanding outwards at a great rate of knots. It has. Okay, now. Um, Druin, blocks, <laughs> of, blocks of land. $200,000. When I was a kid, you could have bought farms for that. I let go of a block of land in Port Arlington on the water, and it was an acre of land for $40,000. Should have kept it. That same block today is worth nearly $2 million. Uh, well, pocket change for you. Now, I've got a, I've got a question. I only learnt from you. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've, sure. got a, I've got a question. Go. If we get people contact us here at Dollars with Cents. Yes. And they're interested in finding out how you can get an investment property for $50. Yes. Will you take them through the analytics of that and help them with their finances and bits and pieces? Absolutely. We'll guide them through and help them through. With appropriate, appropriately qualified people? Only qualified people. Only people who know what they're talking about. None of these speculators. I only deal with people who know what their stuff and have been in the industry for quite a while. So yes, it's there, it's real. So can we help them? Absolutely. They just gotta wanna do it. This is the whole thing. In life, you just gotta wanna well, do it. Well, let's, let's see how many people are interested in looking. Okay. How about that? That'd be fantastic. Thanks, and I'll Mario. fill you in. Thank you. Dallas, thank you very much. I've just been talking to Mario Batoni. He's a lecturer in the property industry. He's an investor in the property industry. He actually works in the property industry. If you'd like to speak to somebody with his expertise, go on to dollarswithsense.com.au, put your details down and we'll get Mario in contact with you. Have a look, what have you got to lose?